One microsecond, the deadly threat? China thwarts the time war. Can you believe it? The U.S. National Security Agency, NSA, spent three years meticulously planning and deploying 42 types of cutting-edge cyber weapons, not to destroy power grids or paralyze communications, but to brazenly attempt to tamper with the pulsing, Beijing time, displayed on our phone screens. It is a known fact in the aerospace sector that an error of just one picosecond, dollar ten carat, minus twelve dollar seconds, can cause the Chang'e lunar probe to deviate several kilometers from its intended orbit in the vastness of space, preventing a precise landing and leaving it lost forever in deep space. This perilous plot, which seems ripped from a sci-fi movie, is a real case recently cracked by China's cybersecurity authorities, revealing an alarming confrontation. The National Time Service Center, NTSC, in Lintong, Shanxi is China's time heart. The normal functioning of every aspect of our lives, from the precise fare deduction at subway turnstiles and the instant synchronization of stock market trading data, to stable and clear phone calls, relies on the high-precision, heartbeat signal it issues every second for calibration. Just as millions of household clocks set themselves daily by the central television time signal, millions of critical pieces of equipment and countless information systems across the country synchronize their operations to the NTSC's standard. Any minute deviation could trigger an unpredictable chain reaction, plunging the rhythm of the entire society into chaos. In this silent war, the U.S. team demonstrated extreme professionalism and stealth. They chose to launch attacks in the dead of night when network defenses were relatively weak, using over 10 virtual servers in Europe and the U.S. as jump points to construct complex attack paths. After each attack, they employed professional means to erase their tracks, attempting to destroy the evidence. However, they underestimated the power of China's independently developed Fiber Optic Plus Beidou Plus Long Wave Triple Defense System This system acts like a precise time cage, capable of controlling the time error to within one ten billionth of a second. Its reaction speed is tens of millions of times faster than a human blink. No subtle abnormal fluctuation can escape its eyes, ultimately strangling the U.S. conspiracy in its cradle. Next, we will delve into a thorough analysis. In today's highly digitalized and informatized world, what kind of economic losses, potentially reaching hundreds of billions, can a 1 microsecond, $10 carat, minus $6 seconds, Timing error cause in critical sectors like finance, energy, and transportation? What profound lessons did the complete paralysis of Europe's Galileo satellite navigation system, caused by a time synchronization failure, bring to China? And what deeper, unspoken strategic conspiracy is hidden behind the U.S.'s painstaking efforts to wage this time war? I, the disaster of a hair's breadth, underestimated time sovereignty. You might think. One second late is no big deal, but the reality is more terrifying than a horror film. A one millisecond time difference can cause power substations to topple like mad dominoes, resulting in widespread blackouts. A one microsecond difference can throw international stock market transaction orders into chaos over. Who was first? Wiping out hundreds of billions instantly. Even more severe for the Beidou satellite system. A 1 nanosecond deviation leads to a 30 centimeter positioning error, causing phone calls to disconnect immediately and delivery riders unable to find your home. The Europeans have already paid this price. In July 2019, the Galileo system suffered a collective strike for five days due to a faulty timing device in Italy. Navigation and timing services for 3 billion users across Europe were completely paralyzed. Planes dared not attempt blind landings, fishing vessels were lost at sea, and even emergency rescue signals were nearly blocked. Note that this was only a natural fault. Whereas the U.S.'s attempt was a deliberate act of poisoning, stop treating time as a minor issue. The paralysis of the Galileo satellite system clearly illustrates this. In 2023, a certain country utilized a cyber attack to throw the European Galileo satellite navigation system into complete disarray in just five days. The U.S. has long been planning in the time war domain, with its strategic intent clearly exposed from the space development strategy disclosed in 2019 to the frequent 
Global Timing Disruption Operations Drills in recent years to fundamentally paralyze the functioning of modern society by interfering with and destroying an opponent's time-based system. This method of attack requires no missiles yet can inflict more lasting damage than a hot war. It not only targets a nation's lifelines but also pushes the sinister tactics of hegemony to new heights. As time becomes a weapon, this war without smoke has truly crossed the line in international gamesmanship. 2. The U.S.'s Time Conspiracy a three-year undercover subversion plan. This attack contained many shocking details. Starting in March 2022, the U.S. first exploited a vulnerability in mobile text messages, secretly retrieving the chat records and logging passwords of NTSC staff. They then chose to act specifically around 2 or 3 in the morning, using servers in the U.S. and Europe as a shield, like throwing stones from a crowd to hide the source. Most viciously, the 42 types of cyber weapons they deployed could quietly rewrite the time parameters within the system, essentially a time bomb buried in the time heart. This is not the first time the U.S. has engaged in such dirty work. When the PRISM program was exposed, the world learned they even monitored Angela Merkel's phone. Now they are even more brazen, directly targeting another country's core infrastructure. More ironically, the U.S. constantly pushes the China cyber threat narrative yet has become the world's largest hacker empire, erasing evidence with high-intensity encryption algorithms, behaving exactly like a thief wiping fingerprints. Commentary analysis, from the global surveillance network exposed by the PRISM scandal to the attacks on satellite timing systems during the Russia-Ukraine conflict, the U.S.'s double standards in the cybersecurity domain are nothing new. Based on recently disclosed data, the Cyber Warfare Unit under the US NSA has carried out covert attacks on critical infrastructure in over 120 countries worldwide in the past two years using 42 independently developed pieces of malicious software. These weapons can not only precisely tamper with timing server data but also create chaos within the millisecond time difference of financial transactions, making them the ultimate weapon in a time war. What is even more astonishing is that the U.S. simultaneously deploys over a thousand virtual servers and 17 liability havens globally, utilizing data relay to conceal the attack source, while demanding that other countries disclose the technical parameters of their core timing systems under the guise of maintaining international security. This hegemonic logic of the magistrate is free to set fires while the common people are forbidden to light lamps was fully exposed at the 2023 International Telecommunication Union Conference, when China proposed establishing a multilateral cybersecurity monitoring mechanism. The U.S. representative vetoed it, citing inviolability of technological sovereignty, only to immediately upgrade its own cyber command into an independent military service branch. 3. China's defense miracle, triple net locks down Beijing time. Fortunately, we were prepared. The Fiber Optic Plus Beto Plus Long Wave Triple Defense Net is simply brilliant. Fiber optics are responsible for second speed transmission of the time signal domestically, a system that can withstand even an earthquake. The Beto satellites act as calibrators in space with even higher accuracy than Galileo, completely immune to ground facility attacks. The long-wave system is even more remarkable, capable of penetrating the seafloor and underground, ensuring even submarines can receive accurate time in the event of a nuclear war. In contrast, Galileo has faced numerous setbacks, with a collective failure of nine atomic clocks in 2017 and another three-hour timing anomaly in 2020. The key issue is the lack of multiple backups. A single ground device failure can bring the entire system to a halt. Our NTSC, on the other hand, not only possesses an independently developed measurement system but also provides data for International Atomic Time, TI, a testament to its formidable strength. The U.S.'s three-year failure to succeed precisely proves that China's time sovereignty is unbreakable. 4. The Global Time Crisis, the Security Trap of Hegemony Global timing systems have now become critical lifelines. Europe relies on Galileo but is constantly plagued by failures, forcing many countries to use US GPS, which is equivalent to handing over their 
heart pacemaker, to someone else. When Galileo was paralyzed in 2019, many European devices had to switch to GPS and Beidou, a bitter taste of being constrained. The U.S. intends to make this stranglehold a constant state. This attack on China's NTSC was an attempt to test the waters. If successful, the next target could be Russia or Southeast Asian nations. More frighteningly, a time attack is more insidious than a missile strike. A missile leaves a trace of destruction, but a one microsecond change in time might go undetected for years. By the time financial markets collapse and power grids are paralyzed, the cause might not even be identified as man-made. The U.S. is now treating cyber weapons as conventional weapons. If they can tamper with China's time today, they could disrupt global stock markets tomorrow. This is no longer just an issue for a single country. It is a security crisis for all of humanity.